I'm Wes Newsom, and today we're going to take a three-dimensional TMJ acquisition using the Ray Scan Alpha. But before we position the patient, let's get the computer side ready first. Before we position our patient for the CT acquisition in the Ray Scan Alpha, we first want to prepare the computer. Within LED imaging software, we'll click on the Ray Scan CT icon. This will launch the Ray Scan acquisition interface for CT. The first window that you see shows patient information, including the patient's first name, last name, and ID number. Once we click OK, this will cause the machine to initialize and move into a home position, making it more convenient for the patient to enter the unit. It is important to note that although we are making these changes before the patient gets into the machine, these changes can also be made on the fly using the touch screen that is attached to the ray scan. In the top left corner, we can choose our patient type from a child to a small, medium, or large adult, and you will notice that it defaulted to the medium adult setting. You also have the option to change the KV and MA settings in the lower left corner if you decide. In the center, we have our protocol options, which it is important to note that all of the protocols will conduct a 9 centimeter by 9 centimeter field of view 360 degree scan around the patient. The default option, the standard protocol, is a 280 micrometer resolution. To the right of that is a 210 micrometer resolution with the implant icon. Below that is our highest resolution at 140 micrometers. To the left with the guide icon is 280 micrometers. Below that is the option that we would choose when scanning for 3D sinus. And to the right of that is when we would scan for a single unilateral TMJ three-dimensional acquisition. On the right side in the orange, we can turn on our positioning lasers, we can ready the unit, or we can cancel out of this interface. Once we've made the desired selections, we can click ready, or we can position the patient and then click ready once the patient is aligned. And now before we position the patient for our three-dimensional TMJ acquisition, we want to prepare the unit. So in this instance, we're going to take an image of the patient's left TM joint. So we're going to use our sinus chin rest as well as the edentulous cup chin rest as well. So I'm going to place the sinus chin rest in first. And since we're going to take the patient's left TM joint, I'm going to offset the edentulous cup to the right side so that the patient's left joint will be centered in the machine. Okay, now we're going to position the patient for a three-dimensional TMJ acquisition. We're going to acquire the patient's left TM joint. So as you can see, the chin rest is offset to the right so that the patient's left joint will be centered at the image. And I've opened the temple supports up all the way to get the patient room to get in. So JP, if you would please step forward and place your chin on the chin cup and use your hands underneath to hold on to the orange ring. And you'll notice we have our positioning lasers on. And the only one that we're going to pay attention to is the mid-sagittal plane laser. But rather than being in the mid-sagittal plane, we actually want that to go to the left of the patient's left eye. And that's going to help us line up to make sure that the patient's TM joint is going to be in the field of view. So now that we have the patient offset to his right, so his left joint is centered into the image, and oftentimes the patient will be pressing against the right temple support to give themselves some stability. While we'll the patient close their eyes, we'll press ready on the remote or the touch screen or the computer screen to ready the machine and then we'll complete the acquisition. And now we're ready to acquire the image. So I'm going to press and hold the exposure button for the full rotation. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 844-952-7327 or online at www.ledental.com.